My question is directed to Minister Patrick Gorman. <coughs> Minister, what is the process of appointments to a senior government position? And so, Patrick, how do I get a government job that pays in, ex in excess of 900 grand a year? <coughs> and in light of the resignation today of Catherine Campbell, I'm just wondering, could I be considered for a job? Um, <laughs> Patrick Gorman. You'll be really pleased to know that I, as an Assistant Minister, can't appoint you as a Deputy Secretary oh. of a department. Uh, that's one of the things, actually, we're putting some legislation through the Parliament right now to make it really clear that the public service is that ongoing institution, that thing that is there for whether it be a government uh, where Barnaby Joyce is Deputy Prime Minister, a government where Anthony Albanese is Prime Minister, whoever's there, that it is that institution that sustains between governments. Um, so the way that you do it um, is that you maybe consider applying for a graduate position at uh, the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet. OK, OK. You go through a competitive okay, selection that's process. That's not the question. Can I, can I <laughs> say, Patrick, it may be that another path is that you oversee something like robo-debt and then you get moved, you know, from, from really one disaster into AUKUS, where I don't think we can afford to be having a lot of disasters, and get paid nearly a million dollars. There, I mean, the, the robo-debt scandal, we, this is going to take a long time for us to recover. We need to reform the public service, mm. but we also have to hold... And, and we need to hold the, the people who are involved in that to account. We also have to hold this government to account mm. to yep. make sure right. that those changes are being made and that it can't happen. But, but on the question of this mm. particular public servant yep. being moved on to this job, was that a mistake? Um, I'm not going to comment on individual public servants, particularly one who this obviously would, we've This public seen. servant is the most high-profile scalp of the robo-debt yeah. scandal. Yeah. Why was she moved on to this really lucrative job? Well, I mean, what is behind that question is you're expecting that we knew where the robo-debt Royal Commission was going to land. And obviously the reason that we started that Royal Commission is because we wanted to get all of the information, allow everyone to put forward their case, and obviously there are some bits which... All of us have seen in the public domain. There are some bits which even I haven't seen in that sealed section. Uh, so that's kind of where we've gotten to. And I wanted to say, like, as a government, though, we did know that there were problems in the public service before we had the RoboDebt Royal Commission. There's a whole bunch of work that was started before okay. that even uh, okay, came out. Just and, how um, pay was decided and it was announced before the job description had been written. And that's what FOI has shown. And that is not an appropriate okay. process. And I go back to what I said earlier, which is when it comes to appointments in the public service, it's not ministers right. who are allocated. I get the point. Got... Barnaby Joyce, I'm going to bring you in, because there's a sealed section. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to know what's in it. Thank um, you, boys. But we know there are other very high-profile people, mm -hmm. including Scott Morrison, who yep. have been condemned by the Royal Commission. Is it appropriate that he stays in Parliament? I think that's a decision for Scott and his electorate. What do I you think? think? I, I think it's a decision for Scott and his electorate. I believe that uh, a person who's a minister, yeah, sure, the executive, you join, you're invited to join the executive, you get kicked out of it, mm. which is, of course, ministers. But actually saying to a person, look, you should, you should be kicked out of Parliament, uh, that, that's taking it to a whole new level because actually that is a decision for the people of Cottesloe Beach, I imagine, and others who actually elected you. You can't... But they can't you... make that decision. Well, they can. It's an election they make that decision. And if, they, be really if they believe... If the... Well, it's not actually. It's probably well, about 18. they didn't know this at the election. But... Uh, sorry? They didn't know this stuff at the election, Yeah, well, it's they? a decision for Scott and for his... for the people in his electorate. Now, I acknowledge that there... that robo-debt is wrong and, and people have got to take their medicine and things have got to be worked out so that doesn't happen again. Not for a shadow of a doubt would I say, oh, yeah, just sweep it under the carpet. But I think that um, ultimately... Uh, I, I just know that if you start playing the you should resign from Parliament card, then I'll be saying, oh, Pat, you should resign from Parliament and we'll all be playing it and I'll just go up to you and say, you know, you should resign from Parliament. And no, no, that's not what it's about. People elect you... Uh, and you, it is a con it's not even mentioned okay, in the David Constitution about, about, about political parties. David Littleproud, who's the Nationals leader, yep. your leader uh, of the party that you're in, mm -hmm. uh, is, he was pretty strong, actually, uh, in his comments about Scott Morrison staying on. Well, that's, Do you agree with David Littleproud? Um, well, on, on that, no. Um, well, you know, I think that 
it's a contract between the uh, electors who elected you, because a lot of them might have, maybe they have a different view. Maybe they say, well, why'd you do that for? I, I understood the problems that you've got. I understood the mistakes you made. But, you know, you told me you'd serve for three years. Well, why are you, why are you just going now? OK, so you disagree with David Littleproud, do you think? Yeah, I do. I mean, but that's not unusual. There's a, there's a hundred... What else do you disagree with David Littleproud on, then? <laughs> oh, no. and you said it's not unusual. How yeah. can I not ask? Well, you said I shouldn't go on this show because it was just <laughs> like, why would you put yourself through it? I don't know. And what did you say? I said, I just get along so well with PK. Yeah. We're just like... And, and...